up, party animals? My name is Kezi, and today we're talking about the modal sculpt. So I got it because it was cheap and small. I wanted something portable that I could bring with me on like road trips or at work and learn the ins and outs of synthesis in a very hands-on way. And the sculpt is exactly that. It is a you know, it, it is a really extremely powerful synthesizer. Its mod matrix is insane, and it's just, it's a really cool synth. I would put it up like a step above my base station. It's smaller, so like, I like the big size and it feels better to use the base station, but the base station is a mono synth, and the, um, the Sculpt, four voice, polyphonic synthesizer so I can play chords I can actually you know jam out and let some notes ring out which is nice and it is it's insanely powerful um and one of the craziest things it has you can plug it into a computer and or an iPad or an iPhone I think and use what's called the modal app and that lets you plug in the synth and tweak it on a computer so you can like do all the stuff you can do on the synth, but with a better UI and using the mouse and stuff like that. So if you really want to dive deep and really kind of see what you're doing, you can do it on the computer and then bring that onto the sculpt, take that with you wherever you are, and even tweak it on the fly that way. And the cool thing, everything you can do on the computer, you can do on the sculpt. And I think that's insane. So in my little uh, intro, you heard the jam I did. That was all the sculpts, except for like the drums and I had a bass line going. But all of it, sculpt, right there, and it just sounds incredible. It's fully digital, so you can't like, you know, you're not getting the purest sine waves, but you are getting tons of power for a very low cost, and I think that's I think that's perfect. And because of its small size, it can kind of fit in any setup. You know, if you're like, oh, I'm stuck on space, or, you know, like I said before, traveling, it's a really good synth just to have on hand. So, however, its small size can kind of be a drawback. Now, like I said, the app is incredibly powerful, but it can do everything that the synth itself can do. But because of its small size, it's really hard to... It's not intuitive. It You can get the hang of it, and I think one of the best ways of learning the synth is to plug it into a device and actually use the modal app and tweak it and then do something like, you know, oh, I changed this parameter, now how do I do that on the sculpt itself? It's not immediately intuitive. One of the things that drove me absolutely crazy was I could not figure out how to change the, um, you couldn't change the envelope of the amplifier and it drove me nuts because I just wanted it to have a longer release time and there was just no way to do that without knowing the trick. There's a button that lets you switch between the two, three, there's a third one too, um, but there's a button to switch between that to change what the parameters are changing. And each, all of the, all of the little dials on it, they're all endless encoders and you can actually see it change as it's being changed. So like, there's like lights on the keys and it just goes up and down. It doesn't show an exact value, but they're very responsive and they're very nice. So I, I think it's super cool. It just takes some getting used to because it's not immediately intuitive. Um, but the mod matrix can also be assigned on the fly as well. Not necessarily on the fly, it takes a few steps, but you can assign it to like LFO 1, 2, or uh, uh, a couple other things, and it's just, it's super cool. It's got so much power. Um, it's got some FM capability, it's got ring mod, it's got some good stuff for making some wacky sounds, and then you can send a clock signal into it. So this is actually something I've really wanted to have on the Force is something that can really do a lot of crazy LFO stuff with crazy, you know, modulating different parameters. And this can do that. This feels like a hugely powerful VST in a little box. And I think it's incredible. This thing is so powerful 
especially for its size. Um, at times, I do find the four voices to be a little limiting, but if you're clever, they aren't because, you know, just record and overdub what you need. Because if you're, you know, playing five note chords, you're gonna need to use a different device. Four voices is plenty, and you can either combine them, double them up, or play them all at once, or play them all individually for different levels of just thickness of, of how they're playing. So I think that's incredible. I love it. I love the synth. At first, I hated it. The, the, the UI of the actual device is insanely confusing. Not a fan of, of like that out of box experience. And you get like a little card that kind of barely tells you what to do. So, I mean, it's useful, but it doesn't actually tell you, you know, here's how to use a synthesizer. It's just, here's some buttons you can press to make things happen. And it's not immediately obvious. So yeah, the modal sculpt, honestly, my new favorite piece. Um, this is way more powerful than I ever thought it would be. And it has so much potential that I have yet to unravel. I've only had the thing for a few days now, and honestly, I'm already loving it. Um, like you heard in the intro, it's got some gritty bass sounds. Like I just, that was a fun jam to do. Um, and I can't wait to do more with it and see where it goes because this is, this is honestly something I've really wanted for a long time was just some way to sit in the car and play with some weird sounds. So yeah, um, I guess that's probably it. Uh, keep an eye out for this in the future. I'll probably be doing more videos on it because it is just that crazy. It's got a lot of depth to it, even though it's so small. Um, and I guess until next time, thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.